What up, everybody? Thank y'all for tuning in. You're now tuning in to my podcast. I'm diff- I'm seriously focused, Johnny. <laughs> SF Johnny. And uh, you're tuned in to Difficult People Chronicles. <laughs> Today's episode is called The Message, Tormented Souls. The other day, there was something I prayed about and did not realize that we were in a season where the enemy souls are tormented. Some people are going to church looking for peace. Some people are talking a lot about the situation they're going through, looking for peace. And if you listen to them, you will hear the lie, basically the position they played. Well, just like they are telling on themselves, their soul is being tormented. They are never really at peace for long. Their peace is really not peace. It's a quiet moment that comes in spurts, like if they at church. Because number one, their conscience is bothering them, bothering them heavily. And if it's not their conscience, someone else is bringing up the situation that they talked about. Because that other person probably wants clarity. Because they probably know something's not right. The reality is, they can't escape it. So their open door is their sin. That they hid and have not repented for. They kind of like shoved it under the rug and thought nobody would know. (laughs) This is what the demons will do to them. They oppress them. And torture them. Their mind. And it's been on their mind till infinity. Every time they think that they are sailing cool waters. mm -hmm, Here comes the fire. So I would say this. As we are trying to be the best version of ourselves. Go to God in prayer and ask for forgiveness. For even walking with the wrong crowd. Meaning, you could have been with a bunch of people or a person who told a lie and you believed it. Because you didn't know it was a lie. And you're shifting the blame. Like, because they told me the lie, I believed it. But what you don't realize is that you're wrong too. And you don't want to be in a position where... Your conscience is bothering you. I've been there before. Trust me. (laughs) I've been there before. Ask for forgiveness. For known and unknown sins. Ask for forgiveness for things you've participated in and didn't unwillingly I would say you participated in unwillingly because had you known that that person lied you wouldn't have been on board with it whatever it is and like I said because <laughs> your conscience will be in captivity because of the decision you made based off of a lie And when I said that, my fridge started making noise. I don't know what it is with that fridge. Know that a trapped soul is the start of a mental battle, depression, anger, a host of other things, especially if change is not a goal. And understand there's nothing wrong with you saying, this person told me a lie. I believed it. I messed up. Go to God and pray and ask for forgiveness. I guess your question would be, how did you mess up? You messed up by moving based on a lie. And for your enemy, they are not trying to change. Whoever this person is. And for the person who soul is being tormented, they're not trying to change. Mm -mm. They're not trying to change. They're trying to dismiss what they did. They trying to shift the blame. They trying to come up with another lie. I don't remember if I told this story about when I lived in the South. And I was living in North Carolina. 
and there was this married couple. So for years, the the husband's family was lying on the wife, calling her all sorts of names and lies about her. And all she ever did was support her husband. Like she helped him when he had nothing. She created a business that became their business. And, you know, he was excelling. And it was all because of basically her ideas. And then one day, when the kids turned teenagers, I would say preteens, because I think one was like 12 and the other one might have been, yeah, the other one might have been a teenager, like 16, 17. That's when he found out the truth. And it was that day that he never spoke to his family again. Mm -hmm. And then he became the husband that he should have been for I would say 16, 17, 20 years or whatever, you know. And the reason why I say 16, 17, 20, because the kids were, like I said, um, one was a preteen, another one was a teenager, but they were dating before then. Mm -hmm. It took all them years for him to be the person that God wanted him to be. Yep. And he was beating himself up over that. But the truth, the truth shall set them free the truth is in their facial expression the truth is in their words the truth is in their actions of avoidance like telling their truth and not the truth and avoiding eye contact Mm mm-hmm Because if you say something that is the truth, like say a person said, oh, that person is a gold digger and all this other stuff. And you approach that person and you say, I thought you said that person's a gold digger. And they start getting fidgety and they can't look you in the face and they say, yeah, you know, that person's a gold digger or that person such and such and such and this and this and that. The truth is in their actions. They lied. You could see that they lied. And a lot of times, a lie another person tells on another person is really about them. Do you know their track record? Exactly. And that should be the confirmation that what they said is a lie and you should know the truth. Be careful when you try to protect and pray for the wrongdoer. Go to God and pray. Ask God, what should you be praying about? And understand when people, you know a person is wrong and they want you to protect them. Like, you know they're wrong. They're not telling you that they're wrong. they still lying. But you know the truth. Because you can see it in their actions. And then they want you to pray about them. Because they're going through things. They want you to pray to protect them. Because they're they going to tell you, oh, their enemy is attacking them and all that other stuff. You don't know if God is dealing with them. Mm-hmm. When the wrongdoer does wrong, what happens? They reap what they sow. Their conscience burn them. They search for water, which is peace. They will come to you because their conscience is killing them. They will tell you another lie, especially if they're not trying to change, a far rendition from the truth, (laughs) and even ask for prayer. And if you kind hearted and you just feel like they're going to change and you just give them a pass, once you pray for them, you might find out that they done did this to other people and something is off. Meaning that their so-called spiritual character, calling themselves a child of God, does not align with God, nor how he wants his children to operate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and that's what's going on with these people. These people, their souls is burning them. 
some of them are going through the stages of depression. And you could tell in their actions. It's like they're in a zombie state. Because they're in a depression. But they won't admit that they're wrong. Because they these people have a problem apologizing. They have a problem going to God asking for forgiveness for their wrongdoing. They have a problem stepping in front of the person they lied to and saying, I lied. None of the stuff I said was true. But the funny part is, they don't have a problem lying, causing division, hurting innocent people, being trifling. Or the way they hurt someone and then tell you, oh, they just playing and they do this evil laugh or going against God. And if they don't tell the truth, they're going to suffer the worst way. So don't be surprised if you start hearing some things. Because they're going to be the type to hide from embarrassment when God exposes them. Trust and believe. Here's an example person who claims to be a godly person walks around with the Bible and tells their family and other people that the crime that they committed, which is being a kidnapper, they claim they're not a kidnapper. Then one day they get caught up by the cops and ask for you to pray for them, claiming to be innocent. And let's say these people knew this person for years, but you question their actions, like the way they go off every now and then or pull somebody by the collar Mm -hmm. or the, the, the arguments the small and big fires the rage and then they claim they never get angry and they live by peace but it's somebody that uh added fuel to the fire and You've never seen them act like, however, until now. But all the while, you were sitting up there backing them up like, this person could never. And all these people were saying the same thing. That person would never. Oh, as an active person in a community. Oh, yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. But the last time when they get in trouble, the description of their actions matches the description of another person who was attacked. Mm Mm-hmm. So now that that's two people on their roster. And then you could recall or other people recall their anger every now and then. Mm-hmm. And then you could say to yourself, based off of what you see, it is possible to go to God anyway and ask for forgiveness. Whether you know that they the culprit or not. Because people crazy nowadays, they might have told you the truth, but not the whole truth. And somewhere in that can of beans is a lie, a cut up lie. (laughs) And say it, just say, God, you know, only you know the details of whether this person is a kidnapper or whether, whether this person is a criminal or whatever. Only you know, God, but God, I want you to forgive me for believing the lie. Because God knows the story. Mm Mm-hmm. And he knows your heart. And some of these people in this season, they, they, um, they come in for a prayer. Because they know God is dealing with them. And they think it's their enemy. But no, boo-boo. It's God. (laughs) God is dealing with them. And they can't take it. And for whoever this is for, some of y'all is feeling like a little bit of the backlash. Because y'all believed the lie. Participated in the lie. Even if a person stole something and said, hold this. Oh, this person owes me the money and this and this and that. And you didn't ask no questions. You just said, oh, that other person is just, uh, their, their character is questionable. And you don't even know the other person. Mm-hmm. Go to God and ask for forgiveness. Because that other person that that person stole the money from might be innocent. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to be the person praying and you catch heat from their punishment. Because you were unknowingly standing in the way. 
spiritual people understand this. We have a heart and we feel and we feel when we see the suffering of others. But some people know this. They see your heart is full of love. Ask for a prayer. And God gives them another chance based off of your prayer. And they commit the crime again or they won't stop. Know who they are. And know where you stand. Because where you stand is very important. Mm-hmm. Remember Satan oppresses people. Know that these people whose souls are being tormented, if they don't go to God with forgiveness, they're going to self-destruct. That doesn't mean that they're not going to go through punishment. doesn't mean that. Because they reaping what they sow. And know that Satan wants to be in God's position. So his, his goal is to make God suffer. And these people that souls are being tormented. Some of them are already in a state of depression. Some of them, they keep thinking about the situation on and off. And... It's becoming a lot more that they think about the situation as the days go on. And they're going through it. And they they, they coming up with all these lies because they're going to whoever to find some kind of comfort. Remember, spiritual people, remember this. When we have a heart... A godly heart. You know, power is in the tongue. We could speak comfort. That will flow in someone's ears and go straight to their heart. But when people are evil and you you don't know who they are, but you try to speak wisdom and comfort to them and give them peace and they still can't find peace within that. In this season... It's because their conscience is bothering them. Because they know what they did. They don't want to own up to it. They don't want to act right. They don't want to go to God in prayer and ask for forgiveness. And they don't want to stop. See, in the past, they got away with a lot of nonsense that they did. That's why their conscience wasn't bothering them. They thought it was okay and X, Y, and Z and all this. But what happens is, as time went on, the situation, the game, the card they played got worse, worse, worse. And they, they, they're not winning. They're losing. They're losing every hand. So now it's bothering them real bad. And for some... They're in a state of depression they can't get out of. It's getting worse. And if they don't go to God in prayer, they're going to self-destruct. Because now it's to the point they can't even sleep. Let me tell y'all a little secret. Everybody in this on this earth is not born with raccoon eyes. And everybody don't look like when they wake up like they've been beaten. These people cannot sleep. In their head, it's like, I hope whoever don't find out the truth. I hope they don't meet. And for some of you all, it could be a a, 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 a meeting where you and another person come together, sit down and talk over coffee or dinner or something like that, and put the pieces together. That culprit does not want that to happen and they soul is bothering them they can't sleep so I say this to y'all whoever this is for if you know that there's somebody out there that you looking at them a certain kind of way like this person and lied about whatever look at their eyes (laughs) your eyes tell a lot Especially if you know this person is not that busy. If they not that busy and they tell you they can't sleep for whatever reason and they got circles around their eyes like dark, dark, dark circles, their conscience is bothering them. They losing sleep. 
And if they starting to look, if they starting to sigh a lot, or they look depressed, their conscience is bothering them. But they don't want people to look at them differently because they know they lied. And people going to look at them like, yo, I don't even know you. Mm-hmm. But whoever this is for, you feel that they're a liar. It's up to you to make it right with yourself. Go to God in prayer. Ask God for forgiveness. Because you know that person is a liar. Don't be listening to anything else that person say. Because at that point, everything else coming out their mouth is nine times out of ten a lie. Yep. And I feel that with all my heart. Like, when... I saw the situations coming up with different people where people were saying certain things to me and then I was just like, so did that person look like they, they were, um, how they look? And they was like, oh, they look like they sad, depressed and this and this and that. Yeah, their souls is bothering them. They lied about a lot of things. They played a lot of positions. They did a lot of things. They put a, 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 a um, they put a stake in plans. They blocked blessings. They destroyed destinies. They probably was even a part of cornering somebody to sacrifice them. But they know the part that they played. And then when there was this innocent person coming around, they told this person all sorts of lies. So this person wouldn't even be able to come to another person's rescue. Because mm-hmm. they tried to stop all of that. They try to stop the person from rescuing them, helping them, uh, know, being an aid, whatever it is. Even donating blood, whatever it is, they lied. They lied, big time. And, that, and now, for who this is for, you see their character. You got to make it right with yourself. Because that's the only way your conscience is going to be freed. Go to God in prayer and ask for forgiveness for believing the lie. Go to God for forgiveness for participating in the foolishness. And don't think that you ain't going to be punished. <laughs> yep. Don't don't think that you're going to be able to skate scot-free. Because whoever this is for, this this might be a pattern that has been going on for a long time. Like, you know these people's character is iffy. You know. And I'm saying, like, other people in the past. There might be been other people in the past that have lied to you. You know their character was kif- iffy. Like, you say, oh, that person's phony. Or that person, I know that person's um, shady or whatever the situation is but you still believe everything that come out their mouth no you you supposed to go to God and pray and ask God like is what they saying the truth like mm-hmm. you don't believe everything that person is saying because that person could be trying to stop your, your blessing or is trying to stop you from moving to the next level God might be having some things for you to do and that person just tried to stop it because of jealousy. That's what just came to me. Because of jealousy. Or if it's um opposite. Opposites. Like male, female. It might be because they feel some kind of way about you. Mm-hmm. And it's hidden. Well, this is just about you. Go to God and pray and ask God for forgiveness for um, believing a lie. Because there's been times, like I said, people stood in front of me and told me and lied. And I was like, oh, my God, what? Like, you said this person, what, is a pedophile and this and this and that? Mm -hmm. Hmm. And that person was not no pedophile. That person was jealous of the next person. Because they didn't want me talking to that person. And I don't mean talking as in boyfriend and girlfriend. They just didn't want me to be friends with that person. So, let me see. What scripture would I say? I will say also, yes, yes. I think this is a perfect scripture. Forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive them for what they have done. For the lie they have told. But know that you don't also have to be around them either. You don't have to. People in this world think that when you forgive a person, you got to be in their presence. No, you really don't have to. Forgive them. You don't have to be in their presence. Matthew six fourteen to 15 For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive 
your trespasses. So forgive them so God can forgive you. Because if you don't forgive them, God is not going to forgive you. And also know that forgiveness is part of the healing process. And you, when it comes to sins, want to make it right with God. So, know who God is. He is greater than. That's it for today. Check me out on YouTube. Like, subscribe, click the notification. Check out my store. All the links is underneath. Love me more and I love you more. Later.